If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. In this video, we are going to see about what is Requestly and how you can use Requestly along with Jmeter for performance test scripting and debugging purpose. Requestly is a lightweight proxy available as a browser extension and also you can download it for Windows, Mac and Linux operating system. Using Requestly, you can intercept and modify HTTP requests. Not just intercepting and modification, you can also do a mocking the API and then you can have your custom scripts to do certain tasks. To download Requestly, first head to requestly.io and sign up for a free account and choose your flavor. In this case, we are going to see Windows flavor. And if you just go to pricing menu, you can see there are two pricing plans. One is free version where you can have unlimited rules. You can do a lot of uh, a modification, a mock server and uh, Selenium and Cypress integrations. So everything is available in the free plan. In the team plan, all things about your workspaces and you can have some daily backups, SSO integration. So those things in the team flavor. Since we are using the free one, just uh, click on the use now and uh, you can use a GitHub account to sign up for free and download the installable for your operating system. So in this case, I have installed for Windows. So this is the user interface of Requestly. In the left side, you can see there are options for network traffic, uh, connected apps, and also for the rules, mocks, sharing, and others. And the top right, you can see your profile information and also the sync status. And Bottom left also you can see your profile information and at the top you can see the proxy server. So by default a requestly listens to the port 8080 and here you can see your intercepting traffic. One important thing about this page is if you want to monitor your intercepting traffic you must be on this page. If you navigate away you will lose all the traffic information. Now let us go to the connected apps. And here under the available uh, section, you can see these are the browsers I have installed in my system. So based on that, it is displaying the profile and the browser flavor. But I don't have Opera here. I am not sure why it is listing out Opera. It might be a bug. But I have almost uh, other uh, browsers like I have Google Chrome, I have Firefox, Edge, everything. And if you click on Android, it will list out the instructions for the Android. And if you want to uh, intercept uh, terminal, you can uh, run the commands. So everything is pretty much available within the uh, requestly. You don't need to go to the docs page to refer how to use this particular options. Now, if you just expand unavailable, as you see, I don't have Brave, I don't have Safari, I don't have Chromium Dev, etc. So you can see all the profile information under the unavailable. And if you expand coming soon, again, you can see if you want to monitor the Electron app, iOS device, Raspberry Pi, uh, those are coming soon for uh, requestly and if you don't have any other app you want to intercept you can just uh, click here to install the certificate and then you can make use of it so this is what we are going to make use of it in jmeter by launching the uh, jmeter with the proxy 8080 so now let us uh, go back to the uh, connected apps and let us uh, try to connect to Firefox. So I'm going to click on open here under Firefox. So this will launch the uh, Firefox browser and then it will directly go to the am I using dot requestly dot io. So this page you should get as success. So if it is displaying as success, basically requestly is able to intercept the traffic. Now let me keep this aside. And here, as you see, it is capturing all the Mozilla traffic. Now, if I go to example.com just for the example purpose and hit enter, as you see here, example.com and example.com slash favicon.ico. So this is how you intercept the traffic and you can see the details. If you just click on any valid request here, at the bottom you can see the request details, response details, and also you can copy the CURL etc. So now if I navigate to any other page, say for example uh, uh, templates, now if I go back to the network traffic, you can see everything has gone. So now I need to hit refresh to see the traffic. So that is why if you want to monitor something, do not navigate away from this particular page. Since 
we have this particular knowledge now let us proceed to see about what is http rules so the request list core feature is http rules so using the http rules you can define your own uh, rule so what to do with your request what to do with your response so there are so many rules you can define with uh, various uh, options and i have created uh, something for performance and for example and also i have something called ungrouped so now if i expand the example one so in this case i have the example rule so this rule has a condition basically if the request the url contains example.com i need to send this particular tag information as its response so by default as you see here on the right side example.com actual response is example domain and some information about the domain but i want to change the response i want to modify the response to display as h1 tag this is qinsights.com so this is what we are going to do now so just go to uh, http rules i just want to make sure it is uh, turned on so right now the particular rule is turned on so what this will do is it will modify the response as you see here the type of the rule is modify the response so what it will do is it will modify the response to this particular response body so now let us go back to the network traffic and let us hit refresh on the example.com so now instead of seeing the actual example.com uh, information we are seeing this is qainsights.com and if you just uh, select the example.com and here also you can see the response details header body and preview so this is how you intercept the traffic based on the rules you set in requestly for debugging purpose or if you want to evaluate some uh, conditions you can do that so this is very simple rule whatever we have seen let us go something a little advanced so i have something called uh, ungrouped here so let me just toggle off this particular example and i'm going to uh, toggle on this particular rule modify store response so if you just open this particular rule i have a rule for my qa insights store so let me just navigate to store dot qa insights dot com so before i hit enter let me turn off this particular rule i don't want to run this rule so i'm going to turn off and i'm going to hit enter in the right side so this is my actual website this is not the uh, demo store this is the actual store you can purchase a qa insights t-shirts and other uh, swags so this is the actual store now i want to say i want to modify the response say the price information or i want to display something else instead of uh, the actual store details so what i can do i can set the rule and then i can uh, uh, modify the uh, response so for the example context let us change the price information so i'm going to keep it aside the right side and i'm going to turn on this particular rule and let us see what is inside this rule so inside this rule i have a wild card Uh, set up for the URL. If the URL contains this particular API, basically, I should throw two hundred OK as a response code, and with the response of the price hundred dollars for all the items. So this is what I'm going to throw to the store dot qa insights dot com. So let us uh, do that quickly. So just uh, make sure you are saving the rule. and let us go to the http rules here and let us uh, make sure it is turned on so now i am going to hit refresh so now what will happen requestly will intercept the traffic and then it will throw the response from the requestly which is 100 dollars for all the items as you see here all the items now it is showing 100 dollars so why you need to change basically for testing purpose suppose what if the uh, order is say in negative or uh, no products found some kind of a simulation you want to do i want to test it how it behaves you can do it pretty quickly using this kind of rules so this is another example i can think of uh, with respect to http rules now let me turn this off and turn the modify store response as 500 
So if you go to this particular uh, response, so here I am setting the status code as 500. So basically it will throw the error or it will display something like blank. I don't know. I had to test. So let me go back. So let me save the rule and let us uh, go back to the HTTP rules and uh, make sure this is turned on and hit refresh. So now the response actually requestly is intercepting and it is throwing 500. So basically it is not displaying anything. Basically it is the UI, it's not having any valid JSON to render. So everything is blank now. So this is how you can pretty much quickly test by creating some rules based on your uh, requirements. So this is what I want to uh, showcase uh, with respect to HTTP rules. So now let me just uh, toggle off. And uh, let me uh, quickly go through another rule, pretty much interesting rule with respect to performance. So here I am delaying the response. So here, as you see, if the URL is contains a commerce.tspring.com, I want to delay the particular response as uh, five seconds. So this one we will see along with a J meter. So we're not going to see it now. So let me just go to the HTTP rules and make sure uh, it is turned on for the uh, example purpose for JMeter. And let me turn off everything. So now uh, before we see JMeter, for, let us quickly go through the templates here. So if you don't know what to do, I want, you want some jumpstart, right? You can refer the templates. And here you can see a lot of uh, uh, pre-built templates are available. Say for redirection, blocking YouTube, uh, and then uh, you can see uh, highlight Google ads. So there are so many uh, built-in uh, templates are available. You can uh, use this. And if you delete something, it will go to the trash. And if you want to mock some APIs, you can uh, do the mock uh, APIs uh, feature here. And if you want to uh, make use of the uh, file server uh, uh, to host the static styles like HTML, those things, you can use the uh, file server mock here. And you can also share your uh, rules. So if you want to share something, definitely you can share it. And if you want to you, uh, uh, have something, uh, remote rules uh, in your extension, uh, you can also uh, use the rules remotely. And if you want to use uh, a mobile debugger, you can use the mobile debugger within this app. And if you want to record some session, uh, you can uh, make use of the session recording. But this feature is only available within the uh, browser extension. So these are the core features of uh, Requestly. So now let us go to uh, JMeter. So as a performance engineer, we, most of us uh, use JMeter. So how to use JMeter uh, along with Requestly uh, so that we can do our performance things. For that, first we have to go to the connected apps and I click on the uh, could not find required app. So this option and click here. So here it will display the, uh, how you can set up the uh, system proxy. So I'm going to go uh, some straightforward uh, uh, system proxy setup. So what we are going to do is, uh, let me go back to my bash. And here I'm going to launch uh, my JMeter uh, with proxy as 127.0.0.1 and uh, with the port 8080. So 8080 is the port where Requestly is uh, listening. Now let us open the test file. So I already have the requested.jmx. So I'm going to, uh, or let me add the hyphen t tag. So requestly and hit enter. So this will uh, launch JMeter with the proxy uh, localhost 8080 and it will open the uh, requestly.jmx uh, file. So in this uh, JMeter, I have uh, two requests. So one is example.com. So I'm going to disable this. And we have the commerce.tspring.com. So if I execute this particular uh, request, first uh, let us go back to the requestly and let us disable this particular rule, high response time. And let me go here and hit run. So this will uh, hit the commerce.tspring.com. And uh, if, if you see the load time, it is 1.5 seconds. And the response data, let me just select the JSON here. And here you can see the price is $22.99. And if you just scroll down, you can see different, different prices for different, different products. Now I'm going to turn on the high response time. And also I'm going to turn on the uh, modify store response. So once it is turned on, if you send the request again, you will see elevated response time and also the change in the pricing.
So now if you go to the uh, teespring.com uh, request, the second request, and if you just scroll down, you can see the price is $100. And similarly, all the price is $100. And if you go to the sample result, you see the load time is five seconds because I am simulating the delay of five seconds. So what if your API is throwing a, a say five second response time and how your application behave? So if you have some kind of a scenario like that, you can simulate that thing uh, using a request pretty easily. So no need to write something uh, very complex or uh, induce the uh, delay using some timers and all. So you can simulate access using uh, requestly like tools. So this is one use case I can uh, think of. And now I'm going to turn on the uh, 500 and let us see what is the response here now. So as you see here, it is displaying 500 response code and load time is 6.7 seconds. And the response data, you still get the response data, but the actual code is 500. So the response data will not change, but you will get what you are expecting from the tool perspective. So this is how you can use Requestly along with Gmeter or any other tool. So whatever I showed you, it's just a tool agnostic. Only thing is you have to make sure you are running the, uh, opening the proxy uh, with the uh, right settings, whatever the tool you're using, then you integrate with Requestly and proper request, everything will be uh, simulated as per the rules you set. So that's it guys on my side. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments and please definitely check it out requestly. This is not the sponsored video. So this is just my uh, experience and I'm just sharing my knowledge uh, to you. Thank you. Have a good day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.